A words of mga B. So, example number 2 na po tayo sa ating design for flexure and shear. Let's go! Okay, so sabi dito, the laminated beam shown in cross-section is composed of 5, 6-inch by 2-inch planks that are glued together. The beam carries an firmly distributed load of intensity W, unknown, over its 8 feet simply supported span. So meron daw tayong beam dito na simply supported, ibig sabihin, sa dulot-dulo, wow, dulot-dulo, meron tayong mga supports dyan. So one is roller and one is pin. Now, may UDL daw na nag-act dito sa 8 feet na beam na to, simply supported beam. And it's a UDL, right? So the intensity of our UDL is in terms of W. So W daw yung intensity niyan. W per feet, of course, no? kasi feet naman yung length dito. So now, pagpatuloy natin mga bis, kung makikita nyo, given na yung mga working stress, right? Or just also the same as the maximum stresses. And it's very specific din nga nyo. Para sa shearing ng glue, no? meron tayong 80 PSI glue. Ano bang spelling ng glue? Hindi ko na alam mag-spell. <laughs> glue. G-L-U-E. Yay! Okay, tapos 80 PSI. Tapos sa shearing naman ng wood, uh, that's 110 PSI. And for sa bending, that's uh, one, 1,100 PSI. Okay, so given na yung ating mga working stresses. Now, determine the maximum allowable value of W. So, di ba, alam natin na these are the maximum stresses. Ibig sabihin, ito yung limit. Dapat, yung load natin is uh, not high enough that it will create a stress exceeding from this limit. So, yung gagawin natin mga bis, no, katulad ng strategy natin sa ating mga previous videos, eh, isosolve natin kung ano yung maximum allowable each dito sa given limit. So, meron tayong tatlong values na makukuha ng W and we will compare their answers at kung sino man yung pinakamalit, of course, that will be the maximum safe allowable value of W or this uh, intensity W. Okay? So, simulan natin. First, di ba yung formula natin for uh, shearing stress is uh, tau is equal to VQ over IB and then for uh, bending stress is that's MC over I, right? And yung unang kailangan nating mahanap dito is this V and M. That's the maximum shear and the maximum moment. And how will we do that? We will refer dito sa ating free body diagram. So we will draw its uh, shear moment diagram. Do not malalaman, di ba? So if this intensity W is acting on this uh, whole length 8 feet, ibig sabihin kapag i-convert natin to into a point load, it will be located at the center which will have a value of 8 W, di ba? Kasi parang that's uh, parang area lang ng rectangle to eh. Length times width. So that's 8 times W. So 8W yung uh, converted point load niya. So ngayon, since alam naman natin na symmetrical yan, di ba? Alam natin na yung mga reactions dito would be hahatiin nila yung 8W. So magiging uh, 4W to, tsaka 4W din to, di ba? If you want to Verify that you can use uh, equilibrium equations, pero since symmetrical ngayon, we are sure of that. Now, kailangan nating i-draw yung kanyang shear and moment diagram. Okay, so simulan natin sa kanyang shear diagram. Sa shear diagram niya, mga business starting here from zero, akyat tayo ng 4W dito, right? May reaction tayo dyan. So, ayan, 4W. And then, along this length, meron tayong distributed load. In this whole length, diba? meron tayo ditong distributed load which is a value of 8W. So, pababa siya mga bis, kaya magsusubtract tayo sa 4W ng 8W. So, pagpunta niya dito, 4W minus 8W would be negative 4W. And we will connect that using a straight line. Okay? And then, pagdating sa dulo, meron tayong reaction na patas, which is 4W. So, it will just go back to 0. Okay? So, that's our shear diagram. For our moment diagram, yeah. We will just get the area of these triangles, right? So, this is a positive area and this is a negative area. And since symmetrical sila, alam natin na ang point of zero shear na to is located 4 feet from the beginning. So, alam natin that this is 4 feet and this is also 4 feet. Kasi diba 8 yung buo. So, now we can solve for this area. That's 1 half base times height. So, area is equals to 1 half. Ano yung base niya? That's 4 times yung height niya is 4W. So, ang sagot niyan, mga bis, would be 16 divided by 2. That would be 8W. Okay? So, dito, from 0, mga bis, no? Pagpunta natin dito, pupunta na tayo sa 
positive AW kasi nga positive area. So, yan. Till we connected by second degree curve. So, this is 8W. And then, pagdating dito sa dulo, mga bis, no? Yan. Parehas din yung area, di ba? Kasi symmetrical lang sila. Pero negative area na yan. So, 8W minus 8W, it will just go back to 0. Okay? So, this is our uh, shear diagram and uh, moment diagram. So, from these diagrams, we can conclude that our Vmax or our maximum shear is equal to 4W. And our maximum moment or Mmax is equal to 8W. Okay? Okay, mga B, so okay na yung ating V and okay na yung ating M. And then next, mga B, is itong ating I or the centroidal moment of inertia. So, how will we solve for that? Kung makikita nyo, it's a basic rectangular shape and symmetrical siya. So, pwede natin gamitin yung base times height cube over 12. So, what's the base? That's 6 inches. The height, that's 10 inches kasi 2 times 5. Cube divided by 12. So, we will have our answer is 500 units inches to the fourth power. Okay, so we have our I, which is 500 inches to the fourth power. Now, mga bis, okay na yung ating I, which is centroidal moment of inertia. So, check na to. Check na to. Now, dito sa ating uh, bending stress, mga bis, the value of C, di ba? Alam, malalaman natin yung value ng C. Since symmetrical yan, alam natin that the value of our C is this value right here. The location of the neutral axis, axis <laughs> neutral axis, which is exactly, exactly dito sa center nito. That's 10 divided by 2. Papunta sa ating top or bottom. And same lang yan. So, okay na yung C natin. Yan. Check na rin yung C. Okay. Punta tayo dito sa ating shearing stress. Dalawa kasi yung given na working stress natin, mga bis. It's the working stress for the uh, wood. Okay. And the working stress for the glue. Ngayon, kailangan nating mahanap saan nga ba yung location ng maximum shear stress sa wood. So, ito yung mga wood natin, right? So, saan natin malulogit dyan yung maximum shear stress? If I'm not mistaken, I think it's at the neutral axis, di ba? Kasi at the neutral axis, our Q is maximum. And if our Q is maximum, it will yield the maximum shearing stress because our B is uniform all throughout, hindi yan nagbabago. So, this B does, doesn't vary, okay? It is the same all throughout. Okay, so yung kailangan nating Q, if we are going to solve here sa shearing stress sa wood, would be the Q at the neutral axis. Because andun nga yung maximum shearing stress sa ating wood. Now, ano naman yung kailangan nating Q sa ating shearing stress sa glue? Okay, so tingnan natin kung saan yung mga locations ng glue. Di ba yung mga locations ng glue is dito, dito, dyan. Ay, joke lang, wala pa lang glue sa taas. Hindi yan nadikit. Open lang yan. So, ito, ito, yung apat na daw. That will be the four locations of the glue, right? Now, sa apat na yan, saan dyan malolocate yung maximum shearing stress for glue? Okay? So, alin sa apat na yan? Well, mga bis, di ba alam natin na our Q, di ba? Q is maximum at the neutral axis, right? So, Pero sa ating neutral axis kasi wood yan, walang glue dyan. Pero yung kailangan natin is glue, right? So, take note mga bis na, mga bis no, that as you move outwards, palabas ka, as you move outwards doon sa yung neutral axis, your Q decreases. Ibig sabihin, at this top no, at this top, at this top, your Q is equal to zero. Okay? So, dito rin sa bottom, your Q here is equal to zero. Your Q is maximum at the neutral axis. And as it moves outward, it is decreasing. Therefore, you can conclude, mga bis, no, that your highest Q or the first moment area occurs here at this part. For the glue, specifically for the glue lang. So it's either of these two. And since symmetrical lang sila, you can choose one of them. So yun yung kailangan mong hanapin. Okay, so let's put here, maglagay tayo dito ng... Ano, maglagay tayo dito ng section, let's say AA. Yan, maglagay tayo ng section AA. Para dyan yung kukunin natin na Q or the first moment area. So dito, sa shearing stress ng glue, yung kailangan natin is Q or the first moment area. First moment area at section AA. Kasi yan doon yung maximum shearing stress ng glue. Okay, so kunin na natin itong mga first moment areas na to. Para diretso na lang yung substitution mamaya. So Q at AA, simulan natin dito. Tingnan natin. We choose it's either yung top or bottom. Parehas lang. Ngayon, I will choose yung top niya, yung nasa taas. So, ito. Ano yung area niyan? That's equal mga bisa. This is 2 inch, 2 inch. So, 4 inch times 6. 4 times 6. I-multiply natin yan sa distance from the centroid of that figure papunta sa ating 
neutral axis and ito yung neutral axis natin, di ba? Ayan, dito yung neutral axis, so papunta dyan. So, that distance would be equal to ilan? Okay, so tignan natin. Itong mga bis, no, mula AA papunta sa centroid, that would be equal to 2 inches, di ba? Kasi kalahati lang yan, eh. Di ba? So, 2 inches. Now, from this AA papunta sa ating neutral axis, ano naman yung length nito? If I'm not mistaken, that's a half of a 2. Di ba? Kalahati ng 2 na to, so that's 1 inch. So, that's 2 plus 1. This will be equal to 3 inch. So, to solve for QAA, Let's calculate that. We have 4 times 6 times 3. Ang sagot natin ay 72 inches to the third power. Now, solve naman natin yung ating Q or first moment area sa ating neutral axis. So, Q at the NA. So, ito naman yung reference natin ngayon. This is the neutral axis. So, kukunin natin yung area nito, yung buong area nito. That would be equal to 6, di ba? 6 times yung buong ito. Since yung buong ito ay 10, yung kalahatin niyan ay 5. So, 6 times 5 times mula sa centroid ng figure pumunta sa ating neutral axis. That's 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. Yan. Yung distance na to ay 2.5. So, calculator na lang natin yan. We have 6 times 5 times 2.5. We have 75 inches to the third power. So, to support my theory, a while ago, mga bis, no? ba sabi ko, as you move outwards, bumababa yung value ng iyong Q, which is tama, ba? Tingnan nyo, at the neutral axis, your value of Q or first moment area 75. As you move outwards a little bit, naging 72, so bumababa siya until pagdating sa very top or very bottom, it will become zero. Okay? So, now, I will just need to write it here para hindi ko makalimutan. Okay na. Check na yung Q and check na yung B. So, wala na tayong problema. We can start solving. So, simulan natin sa bending. At bending. At bending, our formula is equal to sigma is equal to mc over i. So, what's the value of our sigma? ba given yan mga bis? The value of our sigma is ito, 110 psi or pounds per square inches is equal to m. Ano yung value ng m natin? That's the maximum moment. 8w times c. Ano ulit yung value ng c? Yun yung distance mula sa neutral axis going to the top or bottom. And that's equal to 10. Ito. Divided by 2 which is 5. So 5 yung value ng ating c. 5 inches. And then, over. Ano yung value ng ating i? Mga bis, the value of our i is equal to 500 inches to the 4th power. Okay, so before we proceed mga bis, no, ano ulit yung unit ng ating moment? Di ba alam natin that moment or bending moment is force times the length. Okay, so that's gonna be kilonewton meter, uh, pounds foot, ganon. Pero dito mga bis, sa ating moment, di ba kung naalala nyo sa ating uh, beam, right? Yung unit kasi dito is in feet, you know, 8 feet. So, dito mga bis, maglalagay tayo dito ng feet, okay? Bakit feet yung unit niya? E nasaan yung force? Yun yung W mga bis, okay? So, hindi pa natin yun alam. Ngayon, to solve this mga bis, no? We will need to uh, multiply the conversion ratio para maging inches lahat. 12 inch is equal to 1 feet. So, cancel feet, cancel feet. Inches lahat. So, we can solve for our W. And, so, to solve for W, shift solve na lang tayo or transpose kayo kung gusto nyo. So, our answer is equal to 1145.83 mga bis, no? our unit would be equal to in pounds. And since in intensity yan kasi, so that would be pounds per feet. Bakit pounds per feet? Kasi mga bis, yung beam natin is in feet. Okay? So, that's our value at bending. Now, we need to solve naman dito sa dalawang value ng shearing. Kung ano yung magiging maximum allowable value ng W. At shearing naman, at shear, at shearing sa ating, simulan natin sa glue, at shearing sa glue, tignan natin. Our formula is tau is equal to uh, VQ over IB. Okay, so what's the value of our tau? The value of our tau here sa ating glue is 80 PSI or pounds per square inch. Tapos, equal sa V, ang ating VI 4W. Okay, so bakit wala siyang unit? Katulad dito na may fit. Kasi dito mga bis, uh, force lang siya, di ba? Hindi siya moment. So, walang length. So, Okay lang. Hindi na natin kailangan maglagay dyan ng 12 or what. Okay? So, for W times, what's the value of our Q? Q at the, anong gagamitin natin? At Q at the section AA. Okay? Kasi nasa glue tayo. And that's 72 inches to the third power. 
divided by, what's our I? Given rin yan, 500 inches to the fourth power. And what's our B? Or the width of the cut section ito? Given rin yan, 6 inches. Okay, so calculator na lang na natin yan. We'll have the value of our W. So, so ang sagot natin mga Bs ay equal sa 833.33 pounds per foot. So same unit lang din. Okay, next mga Bs. Punta naman tayo sa at shearing. So gamit akong ibang kulay. Uh, anong gusto nyong kulay? Blue naman. At shearing. At shear doon naman sa wood. Okay, at shear doon sa wood. Ang formula natin is tau is equal to uh, VQ over IB. Okay, so ano yung value ng ating tau or the maximum shearing stress sa wood? That's 110 PSI. Okay, the next is our V. Our V is still the same. V max 4W. So, 4W tapos yung ating Q. Q is our Q at the neutral axis kasi we are talking here the shearing stress sa wood dito sa NA. And that's equal to 75 inches cube. Okay? 75 inches cube. And then, divided by what's our I? 500 inches to the fourth power. Given rin yan. Ayun. Tapos, last is our B. The same value yung ating B. That's 6 inches. Cut section sa neutral axis. So, that's times 6 inches. So, solve na natin. Shift solve lang yan. So, our answer mga bis is equal sa 1,100 pounds per foot. Okay. So, ito yung ating tatlong sagot mga bis, no? Now, balik tayo sa tanong. The question is to determine the maximum allowable value of W. So, choosing between the three uh, answers, our final answer would be this lowest one. 833.33 pounds foot. Okay. Kasi, kapag ito yung gagamitin mga bees, no? Safe siya for shearing sa glue. Okay, correct? Safe ba siya for bending? Yes, of course. Malayo yung 833 sa limit which is 1145. And safe ba siya for shearing sa wood? Yes, safe din siya. Okay, kung makikita nyo, malayo. Malayo mas mababa siya. So, this will be our maximum safe allowable value of our maximum of our distributed load with intensity W. So, ito yung intensity niya. Okay, so for example, mga bis, ito yung ginamit natin na intensity ng W. So, what will happen? First, safe siya for shearing sa wood. Okay lang. Kasi yan yung limit eh. Next, safe din siya for bending. Malayong mas mababa ito dito. Pero mga bis, mag-fill siya sa shearing dito sa glue. Bakit? Kasi yung limit lang na kaya ng shear ng glue is 833. Pero gumamit ka nga ng higher than that. So, you expect a uh, sort of pain. So ayun mga bis, no? I hope nakatuloy itong ating video. If you have some questions, kindly comment it down below at susubukan natin yung sagutan pag meron tayong oras. So ayun mga bis, please like, share, and subscribe. Muli ako yung bubuyog na nagpapalala sa inyong maglakbay, mag-enjoy, maglarong, naliksik, maging matinik. Jabi out!